Hi everyone, come on in. In this video, I will share with you how to create lighting for your fantasy renders. Okay, so this is what great about Das is that you don't need you don't need to hire a supermodel to be your personal elf, and then you don't need to to buy very expensive costume and complex lighting and. Yeah, you can create this in your room. So, for this one, yeah, I mix in a few more complex lights than usual. Um, I'll just briefly describe it before we go into the gritty details. For the HDRI, I use a, a red and blue lighting so that the armor, the glowy part, it catches the highlights and creates a more attractive pattern compared to just using a bright white light. This will also create more saturation naturally in your skin, character skin and give a less wash out appearance when you blend it with the with your uh, bright key light. Yeah, as you can notice, uh, there are some extra effort here. This, uh, sorry, there's some fog light over here. These are not painted in. These are the atmospheric lights, sometimes also called as God rays. So using these kind of things has a bit of a heavy performance hit, and depending on how fast is your computer, it may take longer than usual to render, but it's quite worth it. So just to go with the blue suit she's wearing, yeah, go with the color purple, complements it quite nicely. Mm, okay, yeah, let's take a look at the the actual scene setup itself then. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, so the elf model is uh, actually Yuka. It's a base model from Death 3D. Mm, the only one, the only addition I gave her is the the elf ear moth. She's wearing a Death 3, uh, sorry, a D-Force hair. I used a nice trick so that uh, the tiara moves into position and press the hair into places um, through the animation. Yeah, maybe we can take a look at it later. Okay, coming along nicely now. Yeah, so this, there are only two lights active here. One is the HDRI, which gives the reflection on the steel parts of her suit and the atmospheric light which give the appearance of the the fog light behind well let's take a look at the, the hdri lights so the basic form looks something like this with very bright spotlights of blue color and a few spotlight of red Um, it's a bit dark here to see the effect, but don't worry later in the Photoshop we will see a brighter color. As usual, my method I don't adjust the lighting directly on on the render setting. I prefer to do it through exposure setting on Photoshop. So okay, let's take a look at the how the God Ray looks like. Okay. So what the God Ray is doing is actually it's a it's a complex layer of uh, flat panels that is arranged uh, in this grid like pattern to to create the the illusion of a fog. So normally I like to just position it behind the character so that I mean if you position it in front of her, obviously you will get some foggy effect. I mean, if that's what you're trying to achieve, then that's great, go ahead. But 
um, I want to create uh, a clearer, sharper image, so I position it behind her. So one other thing to note is that um, because the Atmos light it intersects, it intersects with the background, right? So you can notice it over here. There are some jaggy looking thing, right? Yeah, because it actually goes through the the arc on the building. So if you are concerned about such thing, don't worry. You can go to the Photoshop and you can clean it up using the healing tool. It's quite a simple thing you do instead. Uh, in fact, I actually did it later. So let's take a look at the ROS. So. So this is a combination so of uh, just the HDRI lights and the atmospheric light behind her. Okay, you can get this. In fact, the results pretty pretty good already. You just need to increase the exposure on Photoshop's. Then later, I will I will just disable. I will just go over here. I will just disable the dome lighting I also disable the the god light no, sorry god grace <laughs> and I only use this uh, single sided dish light to create yeah so this light uh, it adds drama because you only highlight one side of the face so the trick is to position it on the same the same side as as the atmospheric light so that you get a more consistent feeling. So the result as you can see when you render it, you will get this. Yeah, for this one um you can off the the background so that the performance is way faster, you can render this thing. For me, it's just like what thirty minutes compared to the original scene, which takes like maybe one and a half hour. And for the third piece, which I yeah, this one is the ring light. I'm gonna disable the the key light. Yeah, normally I I will disable the background as well. So actually the the key light I was using the brighter orange lights earlier. Yeah. Uh the reason I do this because I was um looking at some color wheel and trying to experiment with a more harmonious color combination and it seems that uh between purple and dark blue orange goes great with it. So Okay, this layer is also very fast as well. So once you have this three layer, so what I do is uh, as usual, go into Photoshop. Okay, add it all in. So as usual, uh, as you can see, the the key scene is really white. It's uh, slightly brighter than render right because I already corrected it through the camera raw filter. So the second thing I do is I try to blend in with the key light. I don't want it to be overwhelming. So sometimes I'll reduce it to around maybe 70%, but over here, even 100% looks very nice. So I'll go with that. So yeah, I'll zoom in a bit more. because I did something extra over here. As you can see the original filter, the original render I have, um, the default hair is covering a part of her eyes, right? So eventually, I make a spot render of just the eye alone. I use it as an overlay. All right, so I brighten up. I increase the exposure on the light uh, using the camera raw filter. Uh, increase the luminosity and a bit more. All right, so you can see the eye really pops up. Mm, after that. 
yeah so i add in a rim like layer as well um yeah so this is the the adjusted version of where i control the color um one ex advanced method you can use is in the layer mask you can use uh, a slightly gray color to paint the layer where you think the effect is way too strong like over here on the headgear it could the the orange could be way too strong or sometimes the year as well yeah like you see here on the original this is the original one where i did not edit i just put it here for demonstration purpose yeah see the year was affected too much right i mean so you need to paint on the layer mask to remove to remove the effect here so as usual i did uh, some real extra work where i blend in multiple glow layer so to create the effect of uh, the halo around this elf supermodel so uh, you need to adjust the coloring a bit so yeah so this is um the pre-final version so i will okay over here um if you are not satisfied with your end result right there are, there are a few very advanced method at once but very easily perform it um they are professional color grading uh, maps available out there that you can use that can um depending on your base result it can really affect how your final product looks like so in this one i choose one that boosts the skin tone and it also boosts the the blue and blue and the purple tones a bit so it real looks real nice compared with the original color all right all right so technically um if you are still not satisfied normally i don't i just spend a lot of time tinkering around with the colors so i go into the yeah the nick collection you can mess around with the viveza tools which you can as you can see slightly brighter on certain parts around the character right so what i do is i put those control points and brighten only the model and leave the background alone now i was tinkering a bit more uh, this is the graduated fog as you can see there are some parts which you want to create drama or maybe it's because it's less interesting so you just want to hide it so as you can see over here on the bottom right side yeah it's darker right yeah it's complement the scene so i add that so just yeah so this is the final copy so that's the end result right you have your elf supermodel and you don't need to hire leaf tyler um you don't you don't need super complex background to make your render nice so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and if you have any comment please let me know just post in the channel below yeah thanks for watching and i hope you will subscribe for my future videos thank you very much everyone yeah see you again